All patients that we see on their initial lab and, and monitoring them in regular follow-up will check vitamin D levels. It's really quite remarkable that, again, the vast majority of patients will have a low vitamin D level. What is also sort of a conundrum or a unique issue that you probably wouldn't expect is that many of the patients who are overweight essentially have, you know, over time consumed too many calories, remarkably have the lowest vitamin D levels. And uh, it must have something to do with the fact that maybe they're not as mobile or not outside as much, but the fact that you can have too many calories and still have low nutrients is, is doesn't make sense from a logic standpoint, but it's quite common. In monitoring levels, we do encourage patients to get sun exposure prior to a burn, warm and pink skin, Try to use those times in the morning and at noon to set circadian rhythm properly for themselves, particularly associated with grounding or earthing when they're exposed to the sun. But the vast majority of patients are unable to get this from their diet. We do have to supplement them nutritionally with vitamin D, many times well beyond what the recommended daily allowance, allowance is for vitamin D to achieve a, a therapeutic or an ideal clinical level to promote bone, bone formation and to enhance proper immune function. We use a product called Regina D Ultra because it is a higher dose form of vitamin D. It also includes vitamin K1 and K2. Appropriately uh, mixed and concurrently ingested, these will allow proper utilization of calcium after your body absorbs it with an enhanced vitamin D level.